Morning, church. So, when was the last time you felt truly thankful? I, I often have moments in my life where I like to think on those things I'm thankful for. But one of my most recent standout moments was about a month ago. So I was driving to meet a couple of friends for curry, which I was really excited about. And about halfway along my journey, my car became really sluggish. Now, this had been an intermittent problem, but this was much worse. So it wasn't really driving, and then a big orange light came up on my dashboard telling me there was a problem with the engine. However, I kept on going because I wasn't going to miss my curry. (laughs) And I got there safely, you'll be pleased to hear, and I got home, okay. However, in that moment, I was thankful for three things. One, I had breakdown cover. Two, I had a phone and a charger. And three, I could access the internet on my phone when I was parked to make sure it was safe for me to keep driving my car, which it was. So I don't know about you, but it's quite often when we face big things in our life or things that we're really anxious about or when we need something that we feel the most thankful when that resolution comes. When we really appreciate an offer of someone's help or we really appreciate what someone does for us. It's in that moment that we truly grasp what things would be like if we didn't have that. Debbie has regaled to us the story of the lepers that were healed by Jesus. Now, you would have thought, having suffered from such a debilitating condition of being seen as unclean by everyone, of being isolated, of being rejected, that they would have been beyond thankful. However, only one turned back and gave thanks. I want us to look at three things that we can take from this passage and what does that mean for us. Number one, the lepers had been at a distance. So verse 12, which should come up in a minute, says... And as he entered a village, he was met by 10 lepers who stood at a distance. These lepers had been at the edge of the village. They almost certainly couldn't enter further in, and they stood away from him. And yet, Jesus reached out to them. And as we go on to read, meant that this leper could come close to him, so close that he fell at his feet. Similarly for us, we were once distant from God, but because of Jesus, we can now come close. Something to be thankful for. Secondly, they obeyed what Jesus had said. Verse 14 says, When he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. As they obeyed, they were changed. They had faith that he would give them what they so desperately needed. Sometimes, God gives us what we need before we ask, or without asking. Other times, it's received following an act of faith. Either way, we can be thankful that we have a God that can be trusted, who will give us what we need and when we need it, and that his timing is perfect. Thirdly, only one appeared to truly understand what Jesus had done for him. Verse 15 says, Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. This leper truly understood what Jesus had done for him. Jesus changed his life. And in doing so, he had transformed how he would now live, how he would now be perceived, how he would now be treated. 
But perhaps more than anything, he was thankful that he had been seen. He had been acknowledged that Jesus hadn't discriminated against him because he was a Samaritan, but he had received the very thing he so desperately wanted. This was a thankful man. But what about us? Are you someone that is really thankful for what you have? What you have been given? What you have been blessed with? Or do you perhaps take things for granted? Have you perhaps become a bit complacent? On a semi-regular basis, Rana and I have developed a process of thinking and pondering on those things that we are so thankful for. Thankful for food, for shelter, for each other. It's very easy to forget where those things have come from, like we just presume we should be given them. Now, whilst it's important to be thankful for all that we have, for the believer, thankfulness goes on a much deeper level than just what we have. As followers of Jesus, our thankfulness should be grounded on a whole deeper level, not just about what we have, but about what Jesus has done. And it's this thankfulness that sustains us when perhaps the material things aren't there or perhaps when we're going through a tough time. With these lepers, I like to surmise that all of them were probably really thankful for what Jesus had done, but only one actively expressed it. We will be reflecting in a moment of all that we have to be thankful for, but can I encourage you to ponder that we can be thankful for so much more than just what we have been given? For those of us that are believers, we can be thankful that the Lord is always near when we call. The Lord will provide our every need. The Lord will keep us in peace. In Christ, we have been made righteous before a holy God. And we can be thankful that through Jesus, we have eternal life, that we have been forgiven and that we can look forward to an eternity with him. We have so much to be thankful for, not just in the material or the here and now, but in the eternal. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18 says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. All of us, we'll be able to think and reflect on those things in our life we are thankful for. But like the leper, for those of you who know this Jesus, thank him for what he has done and think on where you would be now without him. For those of you who perhaps don't yet know this Jesus, maybe think on how your life might be changed if you did. Let's pray. Father God, how can, we, how can thank you ever convey what you have done for us? We want to thank you for all of your daily blessings, for your provision, for how you have led and helped and guided us over the last 18 months. And we are thankful that we can trust in you for our future. May we take this moment to reflect on what Jesus has done for us. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.